if you just joined in, welcome back. We are moving swiftly and we accelerating the pace of the show. <laughs> we've had the gentleman from Squash Rodney, we've had the Liverpool Football Academy, and now we're moving to boxing with a difference. Steve, you well? I'm very well, thanks, Elton. Good. Thanks for inviting us here. You're welcome. Steve, you run a, a boxing club with a difference. Tell us a bit about this club. It's the Armory Boxing Club. It's, um, we know it as the home of white collar boxing in South Africa. It's boxing. Boxing is boxing and it's never going to change you know, that much. It's about guys um, dishing out the punches in the ring and taking those punches as well. And perhaps most of all, it's about discipline and really sound values. Um, and drawing on that, we felt when we opened the Armory that boxing had become perhaps inaccessible. The, the, the amateur um, is fine in the grassroots, of course, but it's largely a township sport. And I, I'm from the UK, you know, where you could go and box. I used to box in a club in the church. I was in the army and you would box in the army at Sandhurst and in our, our units. So I was used to a tradition of, of boxing where there was boxing seemingly all around and was struck here when I came here it wasn't particularly accessible and, and, and I wasn't going to drive to a township, although I do all the time now yes. for the boxing events. And so the idea of the Armoury was to make, uh, to create a place, a safe environment and a friendly environment where people of all ages, any type, could come along and do what you might call recreational boxing, um, but that's not to demean the fact that it, that it, that it is still boxing. And, 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 and the boxing that happens in your club has a potential benefit to everybody who's there, not just physically, but yeah. uh, from a bigger picture in terms of socially. Absolutely. I mean, on, so we've run charitable initiatives and so on and, and emulated the, the, the gutter to glory story, uh, the My Life Champions. Um, but that's not really what it's about. That's a lovely add on. And we support a lot of charitable work as well, local children's charities. Um, but actually anyone and everyone does benefit yep. from boxing and it's the experience of boxing that, that I have the passion for that I find really exciting mm -hmm. someone comes into the club and I, I don't know why someone decides to come along to a boxing club you know and it's intimidating they walk in with their eyes like this and and it's a journey you build the fitness base you learn the basics and eventually when ready you will start to spar and that first punch on the nose is a shock it smarts you think blimey that guy he just hit me yep. or girl lots, yes. lot, had lots of female boxers and the journey goes on and on um, boxing is incredibly basic straight punches hooks yeah. bit of movement there's seemingly not much to it but the boxing is the basics done well and you never really master it so it's a huge challenge from a skills perspective and, and one that keeps you engaged and wanting to come back but mostly it's it's up here and and it's here um, we we call this the heart and we can give you the skills and we can give you the, the fitness. But you have to bring the heart. And that's the experience that guys go through. They find out all about themselves. Um, and some people think that boxing is um, maybe aggressive, uh, that the guys that box would be swaggering. But our experience, and I think a general experience of boxing, it attracts really nice guys. And they're typically humble guys. And they're guys that open themselves up to find out an awful lot about themselves. And I think what they find is that they can, to use an English expression, they can hack it. They, 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 they have to endure some adversity and it's what they find out about themselves and they find out they can do it and they've got it. It's an amazing experience. And, and, and it takes you to the next level that no, mat no matter what you're doing in life, how difficult it is, you're gonna come out of Victor at some point. Let's take a look and see what boxing is really all about. Let's check out this clip.
if I'd ever want to box Steve. That's hardcore. <laughs> that is hardcore. I always think it, it looks more brutal and harder outside the ring than, than you're feeling it in. And that sometimes you only know you've been hit when you hear the gasp of the audience. Uh, the gasp of the audience, and also when you feel that thud. <laughs> yeah, you do. And you can get a, a little bit. So I've got a couple of marks just <laughs> at the moment. But that's not typical. Steve, one of the exciting aspects of what you guys do is, uh, is, is the different way in which you, have, you run competitions. Mm. Take us through some of that uh, ethos. Yeah, we run our own white collar fight nights. Um, on a typically on a Friday evening in our club and it's a bit like a bear pit the place is absolutely cram-packed and it's cram-packed with friends and family and colleagues and the guys that just come for this quite unique experience and the guys all pack around the ring and we regard it as it's a privilege for our boxers it's the culmination of a lot of hard training and when they're ready we will match them and we match them knowing the guys in the club to get the best matching yes. We have no interest in seeing someone get hurt and we have a huge emphasis on safety. Um, but at the end of the day, those guys are gonna step into the ring, face the guy, girl, in the other corner, and they fight uh, three two minute rounds. Um, I think what you're alluding to is that we don't declare a winner, which is- Strange, yeah, very bit, strange for me. Bit bizarre, and I, I struggled with it myself, to be honest, initially. I mean, and especially as someone that gets in the ring, you, you would like to be declared a winner. But our ethos is- Why else am I doing this? Because everyone that steps into that ring is a champion. Everyone is deserving of respect. Yes. And it's really hard earned and they own it for life. They can go telling that war story forever. They go back to work a returning hero. And I think that most people watching the guys in the ring are secretly thinking, I wonder if I could do that. And only the guys in the ring are actually they know that they can. Yes. So it's not about winning or losing. It's about knowing that you can do it. Uh, and I mean, three two-minute uh, two uh, rounds doesn't sound like a long time. But <laughs> when you're in that ring, it feels like forever, I'm sure. It feels like forever. That, that first round, excuse my French, but you're breathing out of your ass. Yeah. It's, it's hardcore. Yeah. There's nothing like it. How, how, do we, how do people find out more about your club? We have a website www.armoryboxing.com. Um, there's good explanations on the site, a Facebook page, you can call up the gym. Best of all, come along and take a look at the gym. We run classes and we have one-on-one -on -one training. And the classes is not just for boxers because we believe that boxing training is the best training. So many, many people come to the club because they enjoy the physical training without the contact. And the, the fitness element is what keeps people coming back for more. Absolutely. Steve, lastly, w w what's the next big event happening in your club? When's the next big fight night? Next Friday, the 20th of November, we have a Friday night fight night, 12 bouts, uh, two female bouts. Uh, that's, it's going to be a big event. The last event sold out, amazing atmosphere. And we have in next year, early next year, we're doing, putting on an event with the Pratia Hotels through Fire and Ice. And that's going to be a pretty cool event. And we have 65 guys from the banking and insurance industry training in the gym at the moment for their own financial nice. services fight night that's going to be for charity thing. yeah steve sounds like you're pa more passionate than anything else <laughs> thank you for your time we will come down and come check out the armory uh, that would be I, great. I don't guarantee i'll don a pair gloves but we'll come and check it out thank Brilliant. you for your time thank you elton cheers Straight after the ad break, we'll have uh, JP Nadeo doing an, an, an interview with the Koi Cushion guys who are going to World Champs, and we'll be back right after that. See you now. Done. Photo, Joe. Thank and then we'll uh, just unclip your mic.